Um, so I'm just cycling from Sandal Hospital where I work to City Hospital, picked up more of these cylinders on the way. Um, it's an epidemic of this stuff, as you know. Um, what I would say to uh, healthcare professionals is make sure you ask young patients that present with unexplained neurological symptoms um, about nitrous oxide use because they won't necessarily admit to it. Um, uh, uh, push them and also include a paper here from practical neurology which is very useful on the management, okay? Um, to patients, I would say, really, this stuff is uh, dangerous. Um, you know, seven years ago, this was a neurological rarity. Um, even a couple of years ago, I was seeing cases maybe once a month. Now I'm seeing them every week. Uh, I spoke to a patient this morning. Um, and uh, apart from asking uh, patients uh, about the symptoms, I also think it's worth asking, where do they get this stuff? Um, so actually, if you can get the name of the supplier, uh, then report that supplier to uh, trading standards um, because this stuff should only be really be used by uh, the catering industry. It's not legal, but it is illegal uh, to supply it for recreational purposes. Indeed, just this month, um, there was a guy in Cardiff who's gone to jail for supplying thousands of these canisters. Um, so I think, you know, some of these people need banging up. Um, and to legislators, we really need the Home Office to urgently look at this. There must be other ways of dealing with this, uh, perhaps have an age limit, maybe people over the age of 25. Um, the way I think about this is with knife crime, obviously, you know, I can't just walk into a shop and get a six inch blade, um, but equally we do need knives. Um, so we can't stop this, but we can certainly make it much easier and spread the word that actually nitrous oxide is dangerous.